Hello, in today's video, we can show you how we load some data from SAP BW to business planning and consolidation. Uh, you know, in the real scenario, uh, we normally store the actual data in SAP BW and the planning data in the uh, business planning and the consolidation, namely the BPC. So, uh, the first step is that we need to locate which queue in SCP BW stores actual data and which model in BPC stores the uh, planning data. All right. As you can see my screen, the models we're going to use uh, is the budget planning model. It contains a few dimensions and so for the uh, budget model does not contain any data, right? And then we go to the ICP BW backend and the cube we can use is this actual cube. It contains some actual data. If I go to display data, we're gonna see some data. Uh, choose the calculation. Okay, select all, that's all the data. So this is the sample data I loaded from the uh, Sources to the SPBW. Okay, the something I want to show you is that the category is actual because this is actual data, right? So now if I go to the BPC web page, I go to the home. So I need to open up Office, adding Office. I choose the budget. So this is the model we're going to use. All right. So I can open a report created based on the model budget. Open a report and open server road folder. This is my report. This report was created by me before. And uh, we can, as I said before, this budget model does not contain any data so far, even for some planning data. It contains no data, but why there is some data, you know, it's file and 15 because this is a uh, history data. We can go to refresh and this figures to be done. All right, so there's no data. We can double check, we can go to the background. So this is a cube. This is a budget cube, which is corresponding to the budget model created in the BPC web page. And if we go to display data, System should, should display no data because we don't enter any data so far. No data. So that includes you maybe, you know, just some planning data, all right? Because we have the budget, planning data is under the uh, category budget, right? So we just put like 10, uh, 5. 5 for PPI 1. For PPI 5, because we have some routine, we don't need input for PPI 5. Normally, it's three times of PPI 1. Okay? Then I just save data, save and refresh worksheet data. So we see this data saved successfully, right? And if we go back to this um, queue, now we should see two records, all right? It's five and 15. Okay, this is a, a, a BPC cube responding to the budget model, all right? Now what can do is that we have to run a package to load the BW data to this BPC data. This is the BW data cube, and we're gonna load this eight record to the uh, budget model, right? So in order to do that, we have to go to the data manager and we go to this run package, all right? Then we go to this data management. See here, there's a load transaction data from BW info provider UI. So we're gonna use this process chain. You can see this is a process corresponding to this um, transaction, all right? Make sure this process chain 
existing in the system. Otherwise, your login will be failed. Okay, so you can simply click run. Then choose the source info provider in BW you want to load from this provider to our budget planning queue. All right. In our case, we just choose this actual. Okay, I click OK. There's some selections you're gonna load, and actually I have saved some selection. I can just load my selection directly, right? Then I click OK. I go to next step. Here I need to choose the transformation file because you know in order to map the source BW info provider to the target budget planning cube in BTC, you have to create transformation transformation file. And I have created it before. Okay, we can have a quick preview. So here is the sample of the transformation file I created. So the point here is that you have to map your uh, dimensions in your BTC model to the info object in the SPBW cube. This is just a very simple mapping. And I also do some very simple conversion because uh, for time time format, because in BW we have the format uh, it's, which is different than the format in the BTC, right? So in order to uh, map the different format of the time, I use this conversion file. Okay, I can open for no, I have stored it here here, so you can open right. So then I go to the next. Here is some, you know, um, uh, behavior or some ways you want to load data from BW to the BTC, right? You have append, you have override, or you have replace. In our case, we're going to use override re record with the match case. Okay. Uh, select whether to run default logic for store value after importing. Uh, I choose no because this is only for the actual data. I want to have the exact same data as BW because we don't want to do any uh, manipulation for the actual data. All right, so I choose no. And whether to check the works data, I choose yes and go to next. And here I need to run it or not. Okay, I just click finish. <laughs> Say the request to run the package on the server was successful. Was successful, so the package is now running. So we can click the view status to see. Here we see the status, right? It's succeeded. We can click the detail to see, you no, know, how many records has been loaded to the target budget model. All right, so you can see it's, uh, the record, eight records, has been loaded to our budget planning model. We can verify that this either by go back to the uh, ICP BW backend for the planning queue, or we can go to the you know report. Okay, so I close this. I close this, and first I go to the backend, uh, the planning queue. Remember, this is the planning queue. So far, we only have entered the two uh, board data. You know, this is planning. We show here also. Right, it's five and fifteen under the category uh, budget. So, but now we have loaded eight records as actual data from BW. So here, if we run it again, we should have ten records. So here, we have ten records, and so the difference here is we have eight records with actual as value for the category so that means these eight records were actually loaded from bw right we can also check and this um, report so here we can do is here um we can refresh see we have the actual data so if we compare with the BW backend, we should have KPI a one for January. Actual should be ten, and KPI five is twenty. All right, let's go back. 
20 here it's 20 for kpr5 and it's 10 for kpr1 all right you can ignore the minus because you know this is uh, you know some back in you know, sizing actually so anyway you know this is just a quick demo for how to load data from the ICPPW to the BPC, right? And the last thing I want to show you is some transformation file. Here you have the um, ability to manage your transformation file. For example, this is my transform transformation file. It's very simple. It's just a direct mapping and a convention conversion file is also, you can choose manage your conversion file. Here you can see very simple. I just from this uh, time format to this time format because this internal time format can be recognized by the BPC, right? So, you know, by doing this, we just load data from BP, uh, from SCP BW to SCP BPC successfully. Okay, thanks for watching.